Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Burns number 541-626. This is a satin chrome-plated solid brass heavy-duty floor stop with hook or with holder. This is the business end of the door bumper, and let me show you the rest of the parts. You're going to have the brass portion, and this is the 626 finish, but that means it's solid brass with that satin chrome plating on it, okay? The pin that holds that, uh, the, the, the hinge pin uh, is, is, is brass based, but everything else is a solid brass finish. And that's of course going to sit down on top of the unit like that, okay? You will have your door hook, it will obviously go like that. You will have a specialty lag bolt. And when I say specialty, really all I mean is that it has a hole drilled and tapped in the top of it. You're going to get a lead expansion anchor for installing it. You will then get a decorative cap for the top of the bolt, and that's where that tapped hole comes in for the screw that will hold all that in together. So what this will look like when it's done is the picture, of course, but it'll look like that with the screw put down into the top of that button cap. It's not sitting flat right now because it has a couple of dimples so that it will sink into this very dense rubber product. Okay? It'll really prevent it from moving at all when it gets installed. Uh, the only thing I haven't showed you are the two screws for the door portion. A couple of number eight by inch and a half or so flathead Phillips sheet metal screw. Okay, Hold that onto the door. Um, let's go over some dimensional properties. Burns has this at 3 inch base height, pardon me, 2 inch base height, 3 inch base diameter. Looks like it's a little heavy on 3, closer to 3 and 3 sixteenths. 2 inch height indeed. The length on the hex bolt, or the, the uh, lag bolt, about 4 and a half. And the length on the, that's a, a half inch lag anchor a lag shield. Um, it's called, it's a long, you've got shorts and longs. Uh, the the uh, half inch is going to be a three, three inch length and again that's a half inch um, lag bolt. Let's go over the dimensional properties of the door portion. Overall width about two and three sixteenths. Overall height about thirteen sixteenths. Overall projection about inch and an eighth and Let's get an idea of what this would be in terms of a projection. Naturally difficult to do with one hand. So from where the door will make contact, we're so close. And the door will make from where the door will make contact. I'm going to do this on the desktop. You've got about an, you have about an inch and three quarter from where the door would rest to the face of the stop. Okay, so keep that in mind when you're laying out where you are going to consider installing this. You've got about an inch and three quarter dimension here. Okay, now the top portion, the holder or holding portion, width on that's about an inch and five eighths. Okay. You can see that the height is going to be about an inch and a quarter, maybe an inch and an eighth, something in that range. Okay, Very nice quality item. Um, the door portion is also going to be solid brass as well. The magnet attests to it at least being not, not ferrous. So where are you going to use this? You're going to use this in applications where you need to have a significantly durable door stop, such as the doors on a on the Greyhound bus terminal. Huge amounts of volume through the doors. Uh, door holders and stops like this would be on the outside of a sports stadium, perhaps a school, something that needs to be incredibly heavy duty, but yet hold the doors open. So the school playground is actually a great um, 
analogy uh, where you can consider using this because uh, the doors are primarily closed, but when they're opened, they're really rocked open. And when recess is over, the teachers will be outside. Rather than stand in front of the doors, they can reach down and hook the doors so that they can, you know, do other things other than hold the door open. Great quality item. Now, there's a link below this video to the uh, manufacturer's uh, page within our site where you can review not only all of the Burns products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. Now, I'm partial to Burns because there's a confluence of very good quality, exceptional quality, with exceptional technical support. <clears throat> they have a footprint of trim and auxiliary hardware that you would expect a trim and auxiliary hardware to have. The wall stops, the door stops, the push and pull hardware, the flat goods like kick plates and armor plates, mop plates, stretcher plates. But they also get into a line of custom manufactured architectural door poles. If you've ever, if you've ever walked into a restaurant and they've got a seven foot long door pull on there, that could be a Burns pole. And when you get into that product catalog, you'll see all of the design choices that are there. And if you have more than an occasional need or you run into that product line uh, when you are conducting your type of business, whether you're a specifier or a project manager or an architect or an interior designer, um, you might want to familiarize yourself with it because that material is so popular and common and has been for a very long time, as a matter of fact. If you have any questions on the burns, this is their part number 541. 626 heavy duty door stop and holder and just to give you an idea it weighs 1.6 pound or at least it does with all of its uh, all of the trappings here uh, if you have any questions on this or any other burns product please feel free to reach out to us thank you